So here we're back. So previously I shown you how to make isometric drawings using simple lines and using the ellipse tool. Now another method to create that is by using what they call the projection tool. It is located at the very bottom portion of your toolbar. So when you click that, you have this isometric projection. For instance, if I want to make an uh, isometric view of this front view, you can simply select all the front view, including the dimensions and annotations, and I select this. Then you simply select uh, the reference point first. So let's say I choose this reference point. You simply place it on the appropriate area now you will notice that this is not the correct orientation so you can change the orientation by selecting it up here in the parameter selection so this is the correct one left side so if you notice it's changed to the correct orientation you simply place it anywhere let's say let's place it here there and then you simply double click your right to end the command so that's it it's so very easy. Now the only thing that is a uh, disadvantage of this projection tool method is that you must already have your orthographic views. So let's try to do the same thing with the side view. So again, I select this, select the isometric projection tool, and I select the appropriate reference point. So I'll select this, and I'll change the orientation and place it right here, there. Let's do it for the top view. I select top view, this one, and I select the top portion and I'll use this as the reference point. There. And then double click. So if you notice, even the uh, hidden lines were copied. This one. So you can just simply, you know, remove those ones if you don't need them. Simply delete them. So if you notice, it creates isometric drawing much faster. And if even the dimensions were uh, copied and you know projected in an isometric manner. So that's the projection tool and specifically isometric projection. For irregular shape objects or design, it is still useful, but you have to manually do the other elements. For instance, we're going to make a isometric view of this uh, orthographic. This will be our front. So it's just a simple block with a diagonal cut. And this will be your side and top view. Let's start with the front. Select the entities and then you choose the isometric projection. I'll use this uh, as a reference point and place it here, right there. Now, if we're going to do it for the... Um, for the side view, you will notice that it's not going to be the correct uh, projection. Because uh, if you notice, it will simply place it like this. There. See? So this element is supposed to be not like this. So let's do the same thing again for the top. Let's just try to select all of it first. And then this will be the reference point. Top. And like that. So this is what I'm describing a while ago. That if you're going to use this method, you're going to have a slightly different uh, isometric view. So this is wrong. This is not supposed to be like that. So you simply have to manually trim this out. So we could just use the trim tool to do that. Uh, like this. And just simply delete the rest of the elements here and make another line connecting that. There. So, again, using isometric projection tool.